So before starting this video, I'd love to thank the sponsor of this video, which is Code Studio. Now, if you are willing to practice uh, interview problems topic wise, this is the place where you should look for because Code Studio has over 2000 plus problems and has all the problem solution in C++, Java, as well as Python. If you're looking for a guided path, then you can find for Python, for DBMS, for object oriented programming, operating system, computer networks, system design, web development, any other thing that you're looking for, you'll find guided paths for every other thing over here. Also, also, if you're looking for any top company questions, let's say if you have an interview at Amazon, if you're looking for Amazon questions, you can get all the top Amazon coding questions via tag and all the solutions in C++, Java, as well as Python. Also, if you have an interview schedule, you can read their interview experiences where there are 600 plus interview experiences from companies like Amazon, Microsoft, Adobe, Google, etc. So what are you waiting for? Code Studio has a lot of free resources for interview preparation. The link will be in the description. Make sure you check it out. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. So till now we have done four problems on drives and all the problems were related on strings where we had to do a string search, where prefix search, count prefixes and all those uh, type of questions. Now we will be moving to the next phase of try questions that are related to bit manipulation. Yes, tries using a uh, bit, bit manipulation and tries combined. You will be getting a lot of questions which involves the concept of ZOR. But before moving to that, you have to understand some basics of bit manipulations, which are uh, absolutely the prerequisites for the tries bit manipulation. So what are the uh, basics of bit manipulation? Now, whenever I see a number nine and I ask you the binary conversion of it, you generally uh, tend to say one double zero one is the binary of nine. Is it? No. In tries, you won't be uh, treating nine as one double zero one because in tries, we always consider the entire bit set. Now, a computer doesn't store 1001. Yeah, you, you say 1001, that's okay. But does the computer store it? No. A computer always stores it something like this. 000 and then 1001. If it's an integer, yes, if it's an integer, this is uh, 32 bits. If it's a long, long, it's 64 bits. That is how the computer stores it. Now, whenever I say uh, 32 bits, the indexing goes like 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on till 31. So the indexing goes from right to left. Okay. Now why is the indexing like this? Because if you see this, this is nothing but 1 into 2 to the power 0. This is 1 into 2 to the power 3. And this 1 into 2 to the power 0 gives you 2. 1 into 2 to the power 3 gives you 8. Sorry, uh, 1 into 2 to the power 0 gives you 1. 8 plus 1 gives you 9. So that's why, yes, that's why uh, it's indexed from the right to the left. Now, if I ask you a very uh, interesting question, when a number will be having a larger value? The simple answer to that is if, if 2 to the power 31 is involved, if or 2 to the power 30 is involved. In short, if the numbers uh, from the right, if the powers of 2s from the right have the bit set as 1, then I can say that the number will be super maximized or super, super big. Now, over here, there is 8, 8 over here. So, it's not that big, but if you had like, this guy, which is 2 to the power 28, then this number could have been massive, right? So this is very, very important to understand that the bit manipulation indexing goes from here to here. In order to have a larger number, you need powers of twos, which comes from the left side, not from the right side, right? So the next prerequisite will be ZOR. What does ZOR state? You know, the binaries will have only one and zeros. So ZOR states that if you are doing ZOR of different bits, different bits, you get one. So whenever you do a ZOR of different bits, you get one. Whenever you do a ZOR of similar bits, you get zero. So if I like this is just in terms of two numbers. If I expand that, I can say if there are even number of ones. Yes, if there are even number of ones, it gives you zero. If there are odd number of zeros, then it, oh sorry, odd number of ones, then it gives you one. So this is uh, in short uh, how it is dealt with. If there are even number of ones, it gives you zero. If there are odd number of ones, it gives you one. So this is the funda of Zor. Next uh, prerequisite that is required is how to check if a bit is set or not. Okay, so as I said, whenever I write nine, that's basically 0, 0, 0, dot, 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 1, 0, 0, where this guy is the 31st bit, this guy is the 0th bit. 
Now, if someone comes up, yes, if someone comes up and says you, hey, can you please tell me if the third bit is one or not? Can you just quickly check me and tell if the third bit is one or not? How will you do this? It's very, very simple. What you will do is you will say the number to right shift by three. Okay, so if you shift this number rightwards by three, what is right shift? Basically, this goes off. This zero will come here. If I'm doing one more right shift, this will go here. So there are three shifts. So basically, if you do a three shift, this one will go here. This particular zero will go here. So it's a three shift. The entire binary shifts by three places. So this one comes over here. This zero comes over here. Then a zero, then a zero, dot, 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 dot. Zero, 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 zero for these. Now still there will be three places left. Now these three places will be filled with zeros which will come from the outer area. So this will be filled with triple zeros. So whenever you're do doing a right shift of three, what happens is whichever bit, yes, this was the third bit. This was the third bit. So if I write, this was the third bit. So the third bit comes over right at the zeroth index, yes. The third bit comes over at the zeroth index. Now what you do is you do an and with one. Yes, you do an and with one. So if you do an and with one, this automatically boils down to one and one, one and rest all will be zeros. Whenever I say one, you know, in binary, it means zero, 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 one, correct? So all will be zeros. But if this bit is set, which means if it is one, this will yield a one. And if this would have been zero in case this would have been zero and this would have yield zero. So it's very simple. What I can say is if num right shift of index, which you're checking for and one, if this is not equal to zero, then the bit is set. And if it is equal to equal to zero, then the bit is not set. This is how you check if a bit is set or not set. Okay. So the next prerequisite will be how do you turn on a particular bit? Now, assume I give you a number like nine. 9 is something like 0, 0, 0, and then 1, double zero, 1. Now, over here, I've been given the index as 2. And what they're asking me is to turn on the second most bit. Yes, from the right, from the right, not from the left. Now, this is the second most bit, if I just mark it. 0, 1, 2. I've been asked to turn on this bit. So, in order to turn on this bit, it's very simple. You write 1, left shift of 2. So, ideally, what is 1? One ideally, if I write it, one is this. Okay. The moment you say left shift by two, this one will left shift by two places and come over here. And these guys will be zeros again. This is how you do it. So whenever I say left shift of two, it left shifts by two position. So if it has left shifted by two position, it will look something like this now. And now if you do a, how do you make sure this guy is one? Which operator? Or operator? So this guy will be one and rest will just replicate whatever is over here will replicate because they're putting a zero. So whatever, if it's a one above, it will replicate one. If it's a zero, it will replicate zero. So you can easily turn on the required bit. So what you need to do is you need to just say number or one left shift of I. So if you just do this, this will turn on the ith index bit. So guys, uh, this were the prerequisites that will be required in order to understand the upcoming problems of the try playlist, which involves bit manipulation and ZOR and price. Okay, so please make sure you watch out uh, the remaining videos of the try playlist and let me know if you have any doubts in the comment section. And yeah, if you have watched the video till here, please make sure you like this video and I'm starting a new trend. If you've understood everything, please, please comment understood so that I understand that you have understood, right? And also, if you haven't checked out our Strive SD sheet, the link will be in the description check it out a lot of people are getting placed using that particular hd sheet and yeah with this let's wrap up this video let's meet in the next one bye bye take care